From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. If you'd like to become an official weirdo, simply click that subscribe button, and while you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you're a weirdo. A study of weight loss finds that diets do not work. With most dieters putting more weight back on and raising their risk of diabetes and strokes. So you might as well strap on the feed bag and enjoy yourself. Nick Cannon has gone from America's Got Talent to hosting a lip sync show for kids on Nickelodeon. The next step down would be filming karaoke lullabies with celebrity babies. Connor Cox apparently forgot to take out the trash, one of his regular chores and his mom was not going to let him forget it, even if he was away at college. A freshman at Westminster College in New Wilmington, Cox tweeted a photo showing a box full of trash that his mother actually said to him at school. He wrote, "...thought my mom was sending me a care package, but instead she sent me a box of trash I was supposed to take out." Uh, he later called his mom to see if maybe she sent the wrong box. Nope, it was the right box, all right, because, as he said, I had to be held responsible for what I didn't do. Uh, Cox said he was supposed to throw the trash away when he was at home for winter break, but he neglected to finish the chore. Man, just imagine if it was his job to clean out the kitty litter box. Research into why the gap in male and female lifespans exists suggests that a natural male propensity toward risky and daredevil behavior may be the reason that men don't live as long as women. Yeah daredevil behavior, like ignoring your mom's repeated request to get up off the couch and take out the garbage. Being exposed to artificial light at night, even when it's dim as that emitted by a computer screen, that might be making people fat. Ohio State University researchers discovered mice exposed to a nightly glow piled on 50 percent more weight than those who slept in the dark. Mice with night lights, they ate more than half their daily food intake when they should have been asleep. Night lights, uh, they could be contributing to the obesity epidemic in people, says OSU's Dr. Randy Nelson. All right now, raise your hands if you lay in bed at night looking at your computer or smartphone screen. Huh? Yeah, me too. That explains a few things. An attempted kidnapping slash robbery slash carjacking of a University of South Carolina student was thwarted earlier this week when the carjackers were unable to operate the stick shift on the woman's vehicle. Well, you want me to drive myself to my own kidnapping? Get bent, losers. Osama bin Laden's son, Hamza, is saying he's ready to lead al-Qaeda and get revenge for his father's death. So we have that to look forward to. Colorado is considering a bill that would allow legal pot deliveries, which is a much better idea than buying your pot, getting high in the parking lot, and then trying to drive home. A watchdog group says the Cheesecake Factory's pasta and pizza hybrid dinner is the most unhealthy restaurant meal at 2,300 calories. Dang! That is 200 calories over what I get for the entire day, according to my MyFitnessPal app. Police in Albuquerque, New Mexico are hunting for a 1,700-pound barbecue pit stolen from a local restaurant that was actually barbecuing a brisket when it was stolen. Man, sounds like somebody needs to beef up their security. So, seven priests walk into a pub. No, it's not a lame joke, it really happened at a pub in Cardiff, and they were promptly asked to leave. That's because the bartender thought they were a bunch of rowdy lads on a bachelor party outing. In a scene which could be straight out of Monty Python, the bartender then explained that they don't serve bachelor parties and that they would have to leave, not believing for a second that they were real priests. Thankfully, the manager realized the mistake and chased after the holy men, inviting them back to the pub and bought them all around. The Archdiocese of Cardiff thanked the pub for clearing up the understanding and treating the priests so well. However, he noted that a number of our clergy, including the Archbishop of Cardiff, frequent your bar, so don't turf any more out, please. A group of staff members at the Haklinica Veterinary Hospital in Tel Aviv, Israel, went above and beyond recently when they glued together an injured snail's shell after a woman accidentally stepped on it. 
then, just for fun, they painted the words S-Car on the shell so they could say, hey, look at that S-Car go! Well, I guess it's true. Everything is deadly. Now they're saying that printing could harm your lungs. One third of laser printers studied admitted ultrafine toner particles that, when inhaled, penetrate the lungs, increasing the risk for respiratory problems and disease, a report in Environmental Sciences and Technology suggests. So you could print out that latest diet or exercise routine in order to increase your health, but doing so might kill you. This episode of The Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by the audiobook Last Exit by Jason R. Davis, an anthology of 17 horrific tales where life on the road can sometimes take a dark and unexpected turn. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Be sure to click that notification bell, too, so you'll know when I post new videos. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!